father died protecting his two-and-a-half-year-old son during the Highland Park 4th of July tragedy. McCarthy, who was shot and killed beside his wife Irina, had Aiden under his body when he was shot, according to McCarthy's father-in-law. When his grandfather picked him up from the police, the youngster said, Mommy and Daddy are coming soon. According to his grandfather, Aiden McCarthy, a two-and-a-half-year-old boy who was left orphaned after the Monday mass shooting at the Highland Park 4th of July parade, lived because his father covered him with his body. According to Michael Ledberg, whose 35-year-old daughter Irina is McCarthy's wife and Aiden's mother, Kevin McCarthy, 37, died protecting his son as they watched the parade. McCarthy was also one of the seven people killed. The father-in-law claimed he had Aiden under his body when he was shot. Levberg claimed that Aiden informed him that mommy and daddy are coming soon when he picked up his grandson from the Highland Park Police Station. Margot McCarthy, Aiden's maternal grandmother, who assisted with childcare and attended the parade with her son and daughter-in-law, was also hurt. She was hit in the neck and an ear and received medical attention for her injuries while holding Aiden, according to her cousin Montgomery Kirsten. Kirsten said that her kid was mortally wounded after being hit by a bullet to the femoral artery. He fell, Aiden was under his father, Kirsten said. I'm sure it was God looking out for him. The Lord saved Aiden and saved Margot. Just a couple of millimeters to the right, and Aiden's grandmother would have suffered a brain injury, he said. Irina McCarthy, an only child, was the love of my life, her father said. She was everything. She moved to the Chicago region with her immigrant mother Nina Ledberg and her Russian-born father. Before obtaining a position in digital marketing in the pharmaceutical business, she worked as a waitress and graduated from DePaul University and Stevenson High School in Lincolnshire, according to her father. He claimed she met her husband Kevin through her work in the pharmaceutical industry. Kevin was a gene therapy startup employee. After the shootings, Aiden was walking in the street, his grandfather said. Photos began circulating of the little boy alone. A neighbor passed by, she showed me the picture, it was Aiden, Ledberg said. I picked him up at the police station. Aiden will be cared for by his loving family and he will have a long road ahead to heal, find stability, and ultimately navigate life as an orphan. He is surrounded by a community of friends and extended family that will embrace him with love, and any means available to ensure he has everything he needs as he grows, said the GoFundMe page created for the little child. The goal of the online fundraiser is, according to its description, to support him and the caregivers who will be tasked with raising, caring for, and supporting Aiden as he and his support system embark on this unexpected journey. According to Lefberg, the McCarthys had been anticipating the parade and taking Aiden to witness it. We're crazy about their child, he added, his voice shaking. They were planning too. According to Kirsten, Kevin McCarthy is also survived by his sister Katie and father Michael. We're going to join forces to support Aiden here, Kirsten said, and to do the best we can to help our nation try and prevent these events from happening in the future. The bodies of the couple had not yet been given to their family as of early Tuesday evening. We don't know what to do, Ledberg said. One of those killed on Monday was Highland Park resident and synagogue preschool teacher Jacqueline Sundheim, 63. Sundheim had worked and worshipped at North Shore Congregation Israel for many years, according to a letter Rabbi Wendy Geffen wrote to the congregation. Jackie's work, kindness and warmth touched us all, from her teaching at the gates of learning preschool to guiding innumerable among us through life's moments of joy and sorrow, all of this with tireless dedication, Geffen wrote. Lake County Coroner Jennifer Bannock on Tuesday identified three of the remaining four victims of the parade tragedy as Catherine Goldstein, a longtime resident of Highland Park, age 64. Highland Park resident Stephen Strauss, 88. Nicholas Toledo Zaragoza, 78, a grandpa visiting family in Highland Park who had lived most of his life in Morelos, Mexico, according to family members. He'd been with them for about two months, and they were trying to convince him to stay forever because he was still suffering from wounds from being struck by a car in Highland Park a few years earlier. The seventh victim's name hasn't been made public. If you enjoyed this story, make sure you click on the like and subscribe buttons and leave us a comment. Thanks for watching.